Well, I think it's got real potential. Absolutely. A Devil House story is good copy. Anyway, the Yucko always sells really well. It's a free newspaper, Harry. Come here. Mm. I know it is. Hey, up. I love none of this carry on and the carry out. Tommy, she is not on your menu. Does this mean we're formally engaged, Harry? Sheer effrontery. What sort of man would humiliate me like this? Well, I have no idea. A hungry one, I suspect. Mm. Did the, um, did the police have any idea who might have done this? They weren't the slightest bit interested, my dear. Well, if they're not going to have anything to do with it, then we, the community under siege, will. Country House Watch. There's a group of us, a select group, and we've set up this warning system so that when these types are around, we shall be on the alert. Now, I'm not trying to teach my grandmother to suck eggs, but that's where your story lies. Yeah, that's, um, <clears throat> that's a great idea. Um, can you tell me exactly what these uh, seals look like, please? Ah, well, they're quite small. They're, they're about that size with scenes on them. Godlike creatures in combat originated with the Sumerians, worn on the neck. Sumeria? Well, where's that? Uh, it's an ancient civilization from Mesopotamia, old boy. I'm sorry, I don't... Modern-day Iraq? Oh, right, thank you. And, uh, and what are these, um, these, uh, seals worth? Oh, well, as talisman, their value is incalculable. Date back, uh, to 3,100 BC. Of course, the original owner will have put a curse on them. Whoever's got them now will be in a lot of trouble. Oh. If that's not Beelzebub, who is it? Oh, no. That's awful. Just as well he's not from the Child Support Agency. And you say it's all over, yeah? Everywhere. The place is freezing. There'll be ectoplasm. That'll be next. Difficult stuff to get out of there. Enough of the cracks, dickhead. Um, Harry, this is my story, and I want to help you, OK? No offence, mate. Just an observation. Yeah, well, do it again and you'll be chewing a brick. Old as you are. The councillor got some answer for you. You can't get the stench of death out your nostrils. You think we're after another place, don't you? Never crossed my mind. You want more proof? Oh, I. No, Wayne, don't. They're seeing it. If they've got the ball. After you, mate. What? Burnt sacrifices have been going on in here. Black magic. I think he's right. Barbecues are usually outside. There you go, John Boy. Thousand-year-old egg. That'll sort your stomach out one way or another. I'm supposed to eat that, am I? I can always pop it in a batter pan if that'll help. I think the bin might be more appropriate. What am I doing here? my qualifications and here I am writing a piece about vandal proof gravestones you know the moment man started burying his dead he became civilized what and then when he started desecrating graves it was a sure sign there was a breakdown in the fabric of society it's an interesting idea it's a load of crap just like what you're prattling on about if you're not happy stop whining about it get out oh dear not still going on about his hangover is it you get no sympathy from us. Eat it. It'll go off. Bloody hell, what's that? I don't know. Just something I found in the back of the cupboard. Mmm, nice. See ya. Yep, see ya. OK, Jonathan. What do you know about Samaria? Hmm? Ah. Well, it was an ancient civilization from Mesopotamia. It'll be a rock now, I suppose. You've got to admit it. There was a definite eerie feel in that house, Harry. It's called manipulative poverty. God, you're a cynical bastard. If someone tells me two words, I believe the first. So you think the entire story's a turkey? No, I mean, that uh, alter bit. That's kind of spooky, but will not you just go with your instincts? You think? Yeah. Yeah, like you go with yours? Come on. What were you going to say to me this morning in Tommy's? 
I saw that look in your eye. Well, I was going to ask you around my place for dinner. So might you bloody well ask then. Oh, nice to see everybody laughing. I'm ill. Tommy's been playing him with Chinese remedies. And very nice they are, too. What's this? 3,000 years BC, Sumeria? Mm. An ancient civilization in Mesopotamia, Harry. Modern day Iraq. Oh, well, naturally, where else? There you go, Tig's calling card. Mr. Moser was most upset. Didn't think that was funny at all. Bit of a talk, you know. Does a spot of boy scouting in his spare time and all. Yeah, him and a few others. They've set up this thing called Country House Watch to protect themselves. Well, that's not a bad idea. Could be good copy. It's not working very well for him, is it? Three of them have been done already. <laughs> Anything like this left at the other jobs? I don't know. I haven't checked. Worth a try. Hmm. Got something, Harry? I don't know. Just a thought. Nah, maybe way off. Hmm. I've been sick. I'll have to go home. No, you won't. That was self-inflicted. You're going to have to see it through. Now, have you tracked down the inventor of this vandal-proof gravestone yet? Yes. And? Photos? Quotes? It's a council committee of 15, Harry. Get a quote off one of them, make up 14 of your own, and you get a picture of them all. It's easy. Worshippers turn young couple's dream into living nightmare. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. Harry. Sorry, love. You're not listening to a word I'm saying, are you? Yes, sir. Yeah, well, what was the last thing that I said? Devil worship. It's him. The phantom. He's back. Mm, soft music, or even Barry Manilow, but no. Mine gets his rocks off watching news bulletins. I'm sorry. I mean, it's sort of interesting. Come on, let's go and eat. Actually, no, darling. I've just gone off the boil. Listen, you lot, I think we're on to the big one. Big what? The country house watch job, eh? Got a list of all the other houses. Mm. There you go. Yes, Severus Towers. What about it? Got done last night. Guess what they found in the safe? You're joking. Am I, Al? First time I saw these, I tweaked. There's only one geezer capable of this behavior. His name's Lenny Trainer. Mr. Showbiz, no, no, no. Well, he's getting on, Harry. Must be 60 odd by now. He wouldn't risk coming back from Spain for something like this. This was his style. Valuable antiques, he's a fitness freak, could climb anywhere. First thing he ever did was go straight to the fridge and grab a bit of chicken. He's a nutter. But why would he want to come back? He must have enough money. Alice, can you check Trainer out on that machine? Mm -hmm. The jobs he's been on, associates, photos, the lot. Yes, I suppose after 12 years on the run, he's probably missing mushy peas and wants to talk to his dear mother. That's very shrewd of you, Jonathan. Perhaps you could find her, check her out if she's still alive. I'm going to check out a couple of leads of my own. <coughs> Sorry, love. Are you a member? No, but... So I... what are you doing on that machine? Well, I can explain it. CD-ROM database is provided for students and affiliated members only. I'll have to ask you to leave. But... Look... Immediately. Please. Excuse me? Is there a problem? Oh, Cheryl, try and explain. You're a member? I am. And Mr. Salter here is my researcher. Yes. Well, in future, please book on. And bear in mind that the cost is prohibitive. Well, thank you. Save me from a right savage in there. Only she checked. 
Technically, I'm only allowed to use it off feed. First rule of journalism, the nearer the truth the lie, the more they believe it. You get what you're after, then? Yeah, sort of. Bit of background on something, but I've got something very special for you, for your devil house. Shanna O'Reilly, local spiritualist, specialises in ghost busting. Look at his eyes. Defiant, aren't they? He loves it. I can see why women are attracted to him. He's got something. Which is more than we can say for D.I. Jack Crow. Mm. Face would never get tired of slapping. Right, time for me to put my lying through my arse act on. Mm. That'll be difficult. Detective Inspector Rodney Small. How can I help you, Mr. Small? Uh, it's Harry, actually. Yes, uh, well... Excuse the formalities, it's a habit of the job. Now, what can I do for the press? Well, the thing is, I'm trying to put together a little sort of one-off series about um, where are they now? Life after retirement, that sort of thing. <laughs> no disrespect, Mr. Salter, but uh, you'll be an octogenarian when I leave the job. <laughs> well, actually, it was one of your predecessors I'm interested in. Oh, yeah. Jack Crow? Is this some kind of joke, Mr. Salter? No, 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 not at all. I was just looking through some of my archive material and I realised what a high profile he had when he was sitting in your seat. I just wondered how a man reacted when he has all his power stripped away from him. Yes, well, I'm sorry, I uh, can't help you. Well, surely as an ex-colleague, you know where he is. Perhaps you should speak to our press relations office. Yeah, all right, fine. And if that's no help... Just smell for pigs. Bloody hell, Harry. How much further? According to this map, we should be just about there. I chap, it's dead enough. You have my teeth out. Well, I don't mind wrecking my car coming out here, Harry, but I'm sorry, this place is straight out of deliverance. Uh, Come on, crawl, give. It's quite simple. He was a kick and verbal D.I. in the 70s. Hated trainer, was always arresting him, and he was always slipping away and revelling in it. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Surely it's forgotten by now. Not old Jack Crow. No. Finished him off. He retired a bitter man, bought this place with his pension. Well, swap one set of pigs for another. <laughs> Apparently, he festers at night. Plotting trainer's downfall. He's the nearest thing to him on this planet, and I want to get inside his head. Mm. Where's your camera? Smile, Harry. Hey. It's called discretion. I'm fed up with getting my nose whacked. Okay, Jonathan, Irene Patterson. Mm -hmm. She reverted back from Trainer when her old man died. Oh, that's interesting. She's at 66 Oliver Street. She's 90, so be diplomatic. Yes, of course I'll be diplomatic. News Associates. Oh, hi. It's Cheryl. Did he? Oh, well, hang on a minute. That piece on vandal proof gravestones. Yes, yeah, yeah. Well, Harry says she can have it. Oh, wonderful. Look, Cheryl, Harry isn't here just now. I'm going to have to check that with him. Yeah, well, when I've spoken to him. Yeah, OK. Bye. God. Who the hell does she think she is? Is she really getting to you? Yeah, she is, actually. Hello? Anybody there? Would it not be better phoning him, Harry? We are staying here. Harry. Oh, sorry, mate. Didn't see you there. Harry Salter, News Associates, my partner. I'm busy. Yeah, I appreciate that, Mr. Crow. We won't take much of your time, but um, I think I've got something of interest to you. Might be a benefit to each of us. I don't think so. Might change your mind if you hear what I've got to say. Don't come here telling me what you think I should know. Are you receiving me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. loud and clear. Oh, I don't want any aggression, mate. Look, uh, what I mean by helping each other, it's, um, it concerns a former adversary of yours, Lenny Trainer. I don't know him. Oh, come on, mate. I've read all those clippings. I know all about you. Only I happen to think he might be back in the country. Sod off. Look, I know how you feel, mate. I'm a journalist. I can put your side of the story. You know how I feel. Get out of my face before I stick you like a pig. Harry. No need to be unpleasant. 
You know what this is? It's a stun gun. Pigs don't like them. And an angry sow will take the calf off your leg just for starters. Harry? Yeah. Come on. Take Come on. <laughs> Jesus, Harry. If he's the good guy, what's the bad guy like? No, I know we're not barking up the wrong tree. He wouldn't react like that if he didn't know trainer was over here. Ah, he's four stops short of the time bridge, that one. Hey, he's a nutter. <laughs> Listen, cop all of them. Come on. Steamed fish is for old people. What's for pudding? But you've got to keep your strength up, Irene. Go on, take your fish. You might fancy it later. Looks like you've got visitors. Mm. Double glazing salesman. He's got that walk. Mrs. Patterson? Whatever it is you're selling, I don't want any. Oh, I'm not selling anything. It's a private matter, actually, about your son. I haven't got one. Oh. I'll just leave you then, Irene. I'll see you later. Yes, and make sure it's bacon and sausage tomorrow. But don't just stand there gawping. Give me a hand in with this. Alice wasn't keen on letting me have the tombstone story. She said she'd have to talk to you about it first. She's just being protective. Yes, well, okay, Harry, if you say so. Um, my devil house has got something of a history. It seems it was owned by this guy called Solly Collins in the 70s. A rackman type, you know, using Alsatians to get sitting tenants out, that sort of thing. Neighborhood watch. <laughs> well, he was well in with the local mobs. He used the house as a sort of headquarters. You're not saying those planes have got anything to do with this? No. I, um, I found this behind the sofa. Nice one. <laughs> I know I'm thought of as Green Harry, but I am better than to be working on a freebie in a dump like this. Not such a dumb. Okay, well, I didn't mean it that way, and you do know what I mean. I intend making it. Just make sure your reach doesn't exceed your grasp. That's rich, coming from you. All right, sermon over. What are you going to do? Go after this Sully Kaiser? Well, that's just it. He's disappeared years ago. Word is that he upset some of the boys and was taken on a walk. Well, that's no great loss, is it? I suppose not. So now you've tied it down, to Shirley, Wayne, you won't need the Ghostbuster. Just the opposite, Harry. I intend running the whole thing and then exposing them to the uh, frauds they are. Mm -hmm. Roger Cook better look out, eh? <laughs> uh, do you fancy coming in for the kill? No, 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 I can't. I've got to see a man about a pig. I don't really like steamed fish. You want to talk about Lenny? Eat it. Oh, you don't look well, son. I do feel a bit queasy. Good. The pit of your stomach, is it? As if you'd eaten your own dung? Well, that's how I feel about Lenny, only a hundred times worse. You shocked, son? I am a bit, yes. Hmm. Well, look around you. Now, what do you see? Irish linen tablecloths? Hand-carved Chippendale? French Renaissance gilded mirror? No, but I used to have them things, the best. My Billy worshipped the ground I walked on. But that Lenny, not a penny has he ever given us. What do you think it'd been like watching him living the life of Riley in Spain while we've had to struggle? Pretty galling, I should imagine. Yes, son, but how could you understand? It's your lot that built him up. That little shit Lenny, he's destroyed everything decent he ever come into contact with. But he'll not do it to our shame. <sighs> Over my dead body. Your grandson? Great grandbairn. Lovely laddie. He's my life. <sighs> Football mad. <laughs> no, for what Lenny's done to us, I'd piss on his grave before I'd help him. Thirteen tomorrow. And it might seem like an evil thing to say, but... I hope Lenny's hurting like hell over him. I'm sorry to have intruded, Mrs. Patterson. You think he's back? 
I don't know. There are people who think he is. Mm. Yeah, well, he not come nowhere near me, so you can forget that. Because I know things. Bad things. Why don't you tell me, Irene? You can trust me. Trust? <laughs> Son, you must think I'm as green as I'm cabbage, Lukey. You want a story? You speak to Wally Hunt. Thank you. Oh, and when you do, just ask him about Solly. Anything for me? Yeah, Jonathan phoned. He's uh, been to see the mum. Apparently she force-fed him steamed fish and he's got a dicky stomach and he's had to go home. Fascinating. What did mum have to say? Well, it seems that she hates Lenny. Jonathan thinks that's genuine and we're going to get nowhere with her. Dalt's on a great grandson, though, apparently. So where's the news? Well, she mentioned a guy called Wally Hunt. He's an old pal of trainers. It's quite a bit on him there. Yeah, another 60s hooligan dripping in chunky jewellery. Yeah, I remember him. Flash kit. Yeah, well, this is the bit you're going to like. He's a pilot. Takes aerial photographs, farms, houses, offices, then punts them to the owners. So he's got it into all those houses. Mm. Nice one. Well done. This one is worth a visit. Alone, Crow. You know he's here and bang out at supposition. This is real, mister. We're getting postcards, eh, Jack? And Christmas cards. Must be nice having a pen pal like Lenny Trainer. All right, take the piss. I'm offering to help you catch him. I'm not interested. What have you got to lose? It cost you your job. So if you don't mind, I decline your kind offer. Listen, you pontified tour rag. We're not talking about a bunch of top brass sitting around carafes of juice discussing crime pattern analysis. We're talking about justice. Why don't you do it, Crow? Go on. Do it. Do it. Now, I don't want your help, and I'm not interested in trainers, so I suggest you go back to your pig farm and do whatever you do there. I've got real crime to clear up. There you go. That's me and Lenny on a marlin fishing holiday in Barbados. But we had a fantastic month there. <laughs> it's private, though. Hey, you should see her when she's dressed up. A real show dog. <laughs> anyway, what do you want to know about me and Lenny? I've got scrapbooks full of stuff. Do you make much money out of this aerial photography lot? I keep my head above the water. I hear he's back. <laughs> what in Darlington? You must be off your trolley. No, I'm not. I hear he made a flying visit. I can't help you. Well, if you do see him, tell him he's got a big fan here. And I want to make him a proposition. No strings. There's a few quid in it for him. Well, I won't be seeing him. Hey! Out of my way! No, where is he, you slug? You, you got no right to do this, grown up! Get out! I'll have the skin off your back, Hunter. It's still the old You mate. keep out of this. <laughs> it's between me and him. Shireen! Shireen! This is my house! Get out! Get out! Get out. All right, then. If I see either of you two round here again, I'll blow your balls off now. Piss off! Your black spotted hunt, you mine! Ah, go on, get run over by a bull! Oh, that's marvellous, that is. You come crashing in there like Indiana Jones, and nearly got me head caved in. Look, trainer's mine! Don't do that. What's between him and me runs deep, it's personal. Yeah, I'd never have guessed that. I'm giving you fair warning. And if I don't heed it, what are you going to do? Deal with me? I don't need your help. I am not the bloody enemy. I'll give you fair warning. I'll get to him first. Then I'll be a hump for your back, mister. I've told you, Harry. The man's a nutter. Look, I'm determined to find out what the connection is between those two, even though the geezer's insane. But shouldn't we tell the police about this? In a word, no. What have we got? Well, according to this list, these are the only two houses that haven't been robbed. Well, they're both tasty. 
Well, it so happens that this one, there's a big society party going on tonight. Lyndon Manor? Oh, it's the Carlton Hamiltons. I knew the daughters slightly. I, th I think the brother played rugby or something. What's the other one? The owners are in the south of France for a month. Right, we're going to have to cover both. Well, I've done it. Through Mr Mosa, I've arranged for us to cover Lyndon Manor as a potential magazine article. Nice one, Alice. Now, all we need is someone to mingle with these people, someone who appears as if he's out of the top drawer. No, I refuse to do it. Yeah. That's Colonel Finely. He's a magistrate. Just a thought. Oh, look, he's never going to be here. And even if he were, how could we tell who he was? Hey, there's a dead good day. Do you want one? Mousy? 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 I have been looking everywhere for you. Isn't this exciting? Daddy's told me all about your being undercover. Just keep your voice down, Sammy. Sorry. Sorry. I'll just pretend and move on. Why don't you take one of me and Mousy? Make it look natural. Maybe later, yeah. You know, I'm going to be very, very cross if we don't have a dance later on. <laughs> you promise now? I promise. <laughs> Clever boy. <laughs> Mousy, haven't you got something more important you should be doing? <laughs> What are they doing? <laughs> Thieving. Nicking cuttings. Oh, God, everybody's at it, aren't they? That's the way it is. You don't really think Trina will turn up here, do you? Who knows? Oh, God, Harry, I don't believe this. It's cruel. Snappy. How things down your end? Absolutely spot on, Harry. Yeah, I'm on to my fifth prawn volvon, and as soon as Mousy has finished the dashing white sergeant, we'll be off for a tour around the house. But I tell you, there's no one here at the moment who even vaguely looks like Trina. Listen, just stick with it, will you? Hey, you and Mousy, and remember this geezer's no mug. They don't call him the Phantom for nothing. Yeah, OK. Mousy. Underneath your bloody noses. Be fair, Harry. You got around the alarms, everything. Lame excuses don't wash. Trainer was there and you blew it. Okay, so what now? <sighs> it's grandson. Do you say he's got a birthday tomorrow? Yes. You know where he lives? No. But you know where the great grandmother lives? Yes. Right, on birthdays, great grandmothers usually make cakes, don't they? Kids like cakes. So perhaps he'll show up there. Okay, Harry, I get the picture. No, Snappy does that. You get the story. I can't believe we're doing this. Harry seems to be going over the top with everything these days. Well, he's at that funny age, isn't he? Well, first it's a younger woman. Next thing it'll be a uh, tints and an earring. <laughs> Are you going to tell him? He doesn't bother me. No. Why are we staking out an old lady's house in case she comes out with a birthday cake? Because up to now, Harry's been right, hasn't he? But how did you find out that he had a trial with Newcastle United Juniors? Good news travels fast. Shane's going to be a very big star, and I'm a very big fan. I'd like an exclusive, Mrs. Trainer. It's dead exciting, and I don't know where he gets it from. Here, have some cake. Uh, no, thanks. I've actually had a bit of a bug this week. Oh, it's his birthday. Go on. Go on. Coincidence. 
coincidence? Is it by chance he's Hunt's best mate? Is it by chance Crow shows up? Is it by chance it's the boy's birthday? How many coincidences do you need? Harry, customers downstairs are complaining. Is there any chance you can shout a bit louder so they can hear properly? All right, Tommy, all right. Trainer will be at that match, I know it. Now, what have you got, Alice? Well, not much, except... There's a guy already doing 15 years for that job that Trina's wanted for. He said that the stuff was sent to him in a jiffy bag. Paul Richardson. That was a bit before my time. Well, if it is him, he's a psychopath. That's a hell of a connection with Trina. Hello, News Associates. Yeah, yeah, he's right here. Hold on just a second. Cheryl. Hello, love. Yeah, fine, thanks, yeah. Uh, no, 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 that's all right. I don't need it. Well, that's a bit difficult. I've arranged um, to go with a mate of mine and see his kid playing football. Yeah. I could send uh, Alice and Snappy, if you like. Does any help? Yeah, in about half an hour? OK. No problem. You can forget it, Harry. I have had enough of her getting her mitts on our stuff. That's right. Look, just hear me out, will you? Hear me out. And what about the gravestone story? God knows it bored me to tears, but you didn't have to give it to Cheryl. She is a good operator. Ugh. I gave her that stuff to stop her sniffing around after Lenny. What? You're saying she's going to get to train her before you do? She's already made a link between Richardson and Solly Collins, right? How long is it going to take before she gets hold of Lenny? Eh? Collins is mixed up in this somewhere along the line. What do you want me to do, wait here or go to the match? Well, it's worth a try, I suppose. Right, well, let's get on with it. Give me them bones, Snappy. How do you fancy some creative investigating? Doing what? Well, it's something to do with the informer. Give him a right run round the table. Oh, you mean set it up? Absolutely. Good girl. You could add the personal touch. What a bastard you are, Harry. Teamwork, Alice. Teamwork. It's <laughs> all a bit unethical, this, don't you think? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Mm, deeply. Come on. Hi. Hi. Uh, I appreciate you both coming. Well, Harry promised to help, so here we are. Great. Um, this is Mrs. O'Reilly. She's the medium. Looks more like a large to me. Hi. Forgive me for saying this, dear, but you have an aura. Have I? Be careful. I will. Right. Should we get in, then? Oh, this is a house of torment. And I command all those without to come into the light or be doomed to everlasting darkness. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Burnt offerings. I won't be surprised if things will be done to virgins in here. Hey, get up over here, man. Oh, shut your head, Jason. If you have to go in there, I'll knock you. If that is a second altar. We are dealing with the undead. And that will need a priest. See, come on, son, that's it, that's it. It's it, it's it. Well done, son. Well done. This is ridiculous, Harry. There's no way he's here. He'll bloody be here. I can feel it. Oh, if you say so. Don't you patronise me, son. Not ever. Well, I just think you're being a bit obsessive. This guy trains making more like Jack Crow every day. Well, if they're not human, what are they? Cows? Does that look like a cow's rib to you? Tago Charlie from 7-2. I'm at 36 Scepter Street. Some bones have been discovered under the floorboards. Well 
this yours? What? This postcard of the Penshaw Monument. Give it here. Crafty bugger. He wants some meat? Yeah. <laughs> We're in with the big boys here. Now, don't you um, want to say something to me? Like, sorry, Harry? He was here all the time. Absolutely. Alice, Snappy, get your Hello. motor. This is hot. Oh, hi, Cheryl. We've got to meet. Yeah. Harry, yeah. Harry's here. Harry. Hello, love. Yes. Yeah, 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 we are busy. That's tremendous. Well, well, well. OK, well, we'll get over there as soon as we can. There's police all over the place digging up the foundations. Oh, what a shame. Have you no scruples, Harry? If it's a choice between a woman and a headline, my son, no contest. Come on. Hello, Harry. <laughs> Where is he? I'll have that soon. Lovely. Now let's have one with both of you. Oh, come on. It's not part of the deal. Insurance, Harry. Think of it as one for the album. There you go. What's this? Belt and braces. It's a contract. 50%? That's ridiculous. Go for a wonder. Read the small print. Trust fund for your grandson. Come here, Harry. How far can you see, Harry? Hundreds, thousands of families, you reckon? What? Yeah. Ordinary people watching Coronation Street go into the club, having an holiday, maybe, with the kids, even the pictures. You any kids, Harry? No. Sorry, son, none of my business. Mint. Old men always carry them. I hadn't noticed. Changed my life, that bairn. Here's me, Mr. Big Time, sneak about just to see him. The last time I cuddled him, he was two. So, if you want your exclusive, it's 50% of whatever, even if it comes on top. And I want you to promise it'll go to him. I've got my reasons, Harry. Yeah, well, they better be good. Ever heard of Solly Collins? Yeah, yeah, I have. Well, him and me had an understanding. Anything I got, it went through him sweet as a nut. Yeah, I know he had a bit of a reputation for heavy stuff, but my dealings were very sociable. Now, everything was hunky dory and I got a really sweet tickle. And Bull Richardson's doing time for it. Animal bastard. Well, I took the stuff around to Solly and we were having a convivial drink when Bull turned up and started getting nasty. Wanted a cut in. Blood-sucking leech wanted the lot. Bull shot Solly. What? Yep. Like he was putting a dog down. Then he stuck the gun in my mouth. It jammed. I kicked him in the balls and dived through the window. Yeah, well, how do I know you're not just winding me up on this? Because I know where the body's buried. What? You what? Where do you think you're going? No! Where is he? I don't know! I'll break your arm. Oh, you're gonna have to do it, Gro! Because I'm telling you, bugger off!
Congratulations, Harry. The biggest story in Darlington, and you handed to her on a plate. Solly Collins, we are right on top of him. Now go in there, get some pictures for posterity. And it's going out in a free paper. Nice one. You always have to be clever, don't you? You always have to be double wide. We are sick of being used by you, Harry. Hey. Harry, listen, you were right. You were bloody right, and it's a fantastic story, and I could not have done it without you. Listen, we have to celebrate tonight, okay? On me. Who's in charge here? Small, isn't it? Eh? Come on. I want to get through. I want to see the eyes small. I want to talk to him now. Where is he? Don't let that man through here. Now, will you listen to me about Trina? Get all this yourself, mate. Obstruction. You bloody clown! Don't you realize Trina's tied up in this? Let go of me. Get your hands off. You make me sick. You're completely off your trolley. You should be certified. You sad old man. Steady on, mate. And what's this got to do with you? Everything. And if you want public humiliation over this, let's go for it. Let him go. You're a disgrace to the service. And you stink. I love you. Come on. Well, where to? We've lost the story. No, we haven't. Half of it will go to the obituary. I want the front page. No, 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 no. Harry, come on. You can't give him to Croy. You gave Trina your word. No, I gave him two. He should have believed the first. Oi! Do you want Trina? Or what? <laughs> Cleared everything, Wally? I just yeah. got another couple of checks, man. Blackbird, I don't know whether to pat me round or bite me head off. It's their argument. Wally. I'm gonna make you pay for all you've done to my life. Jack, Jack, give your bladder a chance. It's not the best of three falls, you know. You're going the journey this time. Come on, man, over a few daft postcards. You mock me. I believe in keeping in touch with friends. <laughs> I like you. You like me. Of course, we're the same you and me. Thought we had an understanding, a mutual respect. I despise everything you stand for. Yeah, get a perspective on things, man. Yeah, I'm a thief. I was born a thief, but I was good at it. And you were a good copper, too. We stood for the quality end of the market. I can't believe you've become so poisonous over this. It was a joke, wasn't it? Haven't you got a sense of humor? Dad! Oh, God! No! Mother! Can't you see the man, too? Shut up, this is my show. Tell him, Lenny, tell him. Tell us what? Your mum's dying. Is that true? What's well, a bit of cancer, eh? As long as you got your health. Don't look so shocked, Jack. How long? Well, a six-week remand will be very optimistic. Oh, fuck her off. You don't want me. I don't need you. Jack, let's close the book properly, eh? I'll put a word in for you when I get there, because I, I suspect that you and me are going to the same place. That's what life's all about, isn't it, Harry? Relationships.
suppose you know what you've got in there, don't you? Yes, Harry. Two old men reliving their past. It's called irony, Snappy. Then you'd know better than me. After all, you're more their age, aren't you? Do me a favor. I'm not saying you're old, Harry. I just think, you know, if you take it easier in the future, just a word of friendly advice. Anyway, I shouldn't worry too much. Lots of women tell me they find the older man very attractive. Well, I haven't noticed. <laughs> Some days you win a few, another time it's so brand new.